Religion places the emphasis on the external, the superficial, and it removes the heart from sincere worship. In order to worship and for our worship to be real, it must come from a person's heart. Any heart that is not allowing the Lord's law to be freely written upon it is not a citizen of heaven. If God is our Father, then by relationship, we are His sons and daughters. Jesus showed us His love for the Father in the greatest way possible. Jesus came and bore the penalty of sin by suffering. He Himself was the sacrifice. Sacrifice means suffering it calls us to go by foregoing, letting go and surrendering our rights to ourselves. Superficial religion, on the other hand, puts the weight of the problem on another by removing personal liability, and therefore it annuls the relationship. Jesus Christ is all about relationship not about religion at all. As a matter of fact, he rebuked the Pharisees because they would not bear their relational responsibilities to God, but instead they tried to remain two-faced. Exterior religion had turned them into deceitful, dishonest, hypocritical religionists. Instead, of exterior sacrifice based on works and outward religion, God sent His Son to restore our broken relationship where a person could be reconciled to God through His Spirit. And with the holy seed of regeneration, He brings a new nature. The interior heart and mind were once enemies of God. And this is where the restoration and reconciliation of our relationship with God must take place. It cannot be through outward religion. Psalm 51, 17, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O oh God, you will not despise. But outward religion is a facade and merely an outer shell. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Children of the flesh are those religionists who have never been born again. They cannot walk in the good, wholesome, faithful father to child relationship doing his will because in their hearts, they have not put their trust in Him. Instead, they are rebellious. They walk in the fleshly reasoning of their own mind. God will only write His law on the heart that has been made new by the Holy Spirit. Our hearts are to be the altar. A person who desires to follow Jesus Christ as Lord presents themselves as a sacrificial offering and seeks only the will of God by remaining on the altar. These are the children of the promise who willingly enter into relationship with the Father, tarrying through faith in the atoning blood of His Son. The mind and heart of a person will never find or remain joyful doing the will of God unless they know Jesus personally through the abiding comforter. Self-centered, exterior motivated religion becomes a burden and will never remain a joy. As long as a person follows Jesus merely as a religionist, they will never be prepared for heaven because the wicked heart will always protect ourselves. It's only when the heart has been 
fully given over to Christ, that the Holy Spirit changes our hearts. The decision is up to each individual. Do you want to continue to take the risk that your religion will get you into heaven? Or do you want to be sure by denying yourself and picking up your cross and following Jesus? 